What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. Y'all know exactly what time it is, man. It's your boy, Jay. Gem Monster 8, one man. Representing that Gem Monster Fitness, man. Y'all know exactly what time it is, man. And in this video today, guys, we are going to be doing deadlifts. And I'm going to be doing some accessory work for my back. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it, man. So, um, I don't even really know where to start nowadays, man. I feel like I've been doing this for so long that I don't even really know where to start, man. So sometimes I just feel like getting on here and just shooting the shit with y'all, man. Honestly, all while we just watch some good gym footage, man. But anyway, uh, I got back into deadlifts, which y'all already know deadlifts has always been one of my favorite movements, period, hands down. I know I go and do my bench press and then all this other stuff, man. But when it comes to deadlifts, that is my favorite movement of all time in the gym. Another thing you notice in this too, man, is I did say I was going to start trying to cut some weight, but as you can see, man, I'm still bulky as hell. It's so hard for me nowadays, man, being that I've gotten older, it is getting actually harder for me to really cut this weight down, man. Right now in this video, I am about 189 to 190 pounds throughout my day. So in the morning, I wake up, I'm about 188, 189. By the end of the day, I'm about 190, uh, maybe 191 if that's the case, you know, basing that on how I'm eating for that day, you know, yeah, based on how I eat for that day, yeah. But honestly, guys, I am going to try and cut this weight down at some point, but it's just, it's just getting hard. Like I said, man, the older I get, the more, you know, the harder it gets to cut this weight, man. But anyway, we're going up in these deadlifts. I think my max on the deadlifts on this day was what I think I hit right above 315, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but at the same time, I still feel good, man. My wrist is doing good. Um, my injuries and things like that really haven't been acting up too much, man, because I've been lifting and working out more safe nowadays than I used to. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a way to get away from that suicide grip on my bench press, but I'm just so used to it. I get a lot of people that go back and watch my 315, I think it was my 315 uh, bench press, the the one that I did years ago when I was like in the military, when I was in the Marine Corps. A lot of people still go back and watch that and they comment and they always, you know, talk to me about my suicide grip. And, you know, my thing is I'm, I'm always saying like, hey, I'm, I'm still trying, man. So even if you put it in perspective, even after all these years, I am still trying to figure out a way to get away from that suicide grip. But for me, it's just so natural. You know what I mean? So, I think this is my highest on the deadlifts. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. Um, I don't even remember exactly what it was. I think that's about 335, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and as you can see, it went up smooth, but slow. But, you know, it is what it is. So after that, this is where I started to do just some small accessories. So I just stayed there and went ahead and knocked out the bent over rows. You know, one of my other favorite exercises for back. If you're really trying to grow, man, the bent over barbell rows will get you thick and solid man as you can see i love it because it also incorporates my forearms and you guys know i love the forearms you know what i'm saying when you got the tight sleeves on but the forearms is on you know they all tight and they all swole man people know you really in the gym so right here i knocked out about what 185 for a few reps i don't even remember if i went up to uh 205 i may have but i probably didn't get the clip um so here just moved over into a row machine man uh threw three plates on there you know and i did a uh, all my sets like this. So you probably just saw those two sets. And on this, you probably just see this one set, but I knocked out uh, three sets of this and three plates, eight reps. If I'm not mistaken, I did eight reps. Uh, this video was recorded, you know, about four, maybe five days ago. So I just finally got around to getting to the voiceover. Um, but yeah, I did about eight reps, eight or nine reps, uh, three sets of this, man. And uh, yeah, man, I feel like I'm, I'm looking, I still feel like I look pretty good, man. I just need to taper up and get that midsection back in order, man. I feel like if I can get my midsection back, I'll be well on my way, man. But it's just hard. Like I say, you know, getting older, man, it's, it's getting harder. It's getting tough, man. And uh, after that, I just did some reverse flies with the dumbbells. I think I only stayed at 20s on these. Uh, typically, I can do, what, 30s or 40s, but I just did some 20s, man, because it was a not-so-heavy day. I was just really focusing on the deadlifts, honestly. But anyway, guys, I'm going to jump out of here, man. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying these videos, man. And if you are, make sure you hit that like button, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop any videos on this channel, man. It's been your boy Jay. I'm going to get out of here and head to the gym right now. Peace. 